now that we understand how to get input and um, give output using our computer, I thought it would be fun to write a Mad Lib program, an electronic Mad Lib program. So if you've never played Mad Libs before, the concept is pretty cool. I would have a pre-written story in front of me and I would ask you for a noun. And you'd give me a noun. What's that? Dog. And I'd write it down. Then I'd ask you for a verb. And you'd give me a verb. Run. And I'd write it down. And then after we go through several nouns and verbs and adjectives, I would read the story to you, filling in all of those different parts. And it would be kind of funny because they wouldn't really match, but they'd be the right part of speech. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to write an electronic Mad Lib. And we're going to do this to help little kids so that they can maybe learn the parts of speech. So we've been hired by an English teacher to do this important job. Whenever you're going to start a program, I think it's important to start by planning out what you're going to do. So this is called an agile programming um, process. The big picture here is that we're going to write an electronic Mad Lib. And now we have to think about what parts go into that, what needs to happen to make that happen. So I guess I'm going to have to have a story. These are all little parts. This, this, by the way, I call this a scrum. This is used a lot in a lot of companies for time management, for example. So we'll have to have a story. We'll have to get some input from the user. And then we'll have to tell the story. These are all the parts that go into a Mad Lib. So the first thing we're going to want to do is write a story. And I'm going to keep it pretty simple here. Um, once upon a time, there was a little dog who liked to run. There's my story. That's it. That's going to be my story for the Mad Lib. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle some nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs. Hopefully your story will be longer if you write one. So I'm going to say, uh, let's see, here's a noun. That's going to become a variable now. I'm going to ask the user to enter that. And here's a verb. Again, that's going to become a variable that I want to ask the user to enter. So if I were to write a, a program that just told a story, that wouldn't be fun. So I want to ask the user to enter a noun and to enter a verb, and it's going to change that story. So the next thing I'd have to do is get input from the user, and I see that the two inputs that I need for my story are get a noun, and I like to write down the variable type. That's going to be a string and get a verb. Again, that's going to be a string. Once I get those two things, I'll be ready to tell the story because I'll be able to input those values into the story. So that's our plan. Let's start. I'm going to open JGrasp. And I'm going to begin a whole new program. So file new Java. I like to put comments at the top. So if you want to put in a whole entire block of comments, you can do slash star and star slash to end it. And that way you can put in your name if you want um, and the purpose of the program. It's always nice to remind yourself later. So this is an electronic Mad Lib. And we're ready to start our program. So we start with those famous lines, public, class. I'm going to call this Mad Lib. Mad Lib is a great name for this program because, well, it's a Mad Lib. And then public, static, void means string args. OK. Now, I remember I need two variables. And the reason I know that is because my input says 
two variables. I need a um, noun and I'll need a verb. So there I created two variables together. Those variables will be used to store the information that's going to be given to me by the user. Since I've decided I'm going to use J Option Panes for this program because they're way more interesting and exciting, I have to import javax.swing.star. That's the thing that I import for, mess for dialog boxes. And I can make that comment for myself so that I remember it later in case I need to. Okay, so I'm now at the part of my scrum where it's time for me to get some input. So noun is going to be a J option pane show input dialog and it will say enter a noun. Okay, and I need a verb, so I'm going to do the same thing for verb. At this point, I'm going to stop programming it. I'm going to save it. We've all been there. Notice how it's called madlib.java. So all my brackets must be in the right place. I'm going to delete that white space. And I'm going to run it. When I run it, I see enter a noun. I'm going to enter ski and enter a verb. I'm going to enter um, jump. And right now nothing happens because I didn't tell anything to happen. So all I've done so far is the input section. Now I have my story. I have it written, handwritten. If I wanted to print out my whole story, I would do a big old J option pane dot show message dialog and null is the first parameter. If you remember my story was once upon a time there was a little dog who liked to run. That's the whole story but it's not using any of my input so if I run this program even though I enter a noun I will enter book for my noun, and I will enter um, jump for my verb. It still tells the story once upon a time there was a little dog who liked to run, so it's not using my variables. So because I want my variables to be used, like the noun to be used in this particular spot, I'm going to delete that word dog. I'm going to end the quote. Notice how these words turned black, that means my computer thinks there are a bunch of variables. So I ended the quote for this part of the sentence, once upon a time there was a little, and I'm just going to push that off to the side, plus noun, plus, and I'm going to put my quotes back in for this next part of the sentence. So once upon a time there was a little, whatever the user enters now for that noun liked to and I don't want it to say run so I'm going to delete that word and I'm going to put in plus sign there verb. Now let's take a look at my story. Okay for the noun I'm going to use computer and for the verb I'm going to use blink. Once upon a time, there was a little computer who liked to blink. I now have an electronic Mad Lib. So I would challenge you to write your own electronic Mad Lib. Maybe your story is a little bit longer than mine and has more interesting parts of speech in it. But now you see how you can use input and output in any variety to create a pretty substantial program. Congratulations. Congratulations.